Okay. And this is something bigger than ourselves. This is something that the, the planets are aligning to support. The astrology is supporting this major up leveling, this major um, new start. Okay. And it's creating the conditions and creating the energy to dismantle old timelines and to dismantle that, you know, the, the framework, the old framework of that cycle that we are all ending. Okay. Whatever that means for you. Perhaps some of you are clinging to the past, and this could be maybe a past version of yourself. Maybe it's um, old thought patterns. Maybe it's old storylines you used to follow and you used to tell yourself. And now that those are gone, no, now that, you know, those are no more, it's like, okay, well, I don't know how to be in this new energy yet. So I'm just sort of reverting back to what feels natural to me and comfortable, which is what I, what I know, right? Which is stuff from the past. Just... You know, same old, same old, I suppose. But I think when you make your peace with knowing that the past is no longer serving you and that you've outgrown your past, I think really that's a big takeaway is to have you guys realize that you know that the past is going to keep you small if you go back to that. This is about you up leveling yourself and expanding yourself and growing, okay? Um, by you clinging to this past, you're blocking the fire energy from coming in. This is a night of fire. This is intensity. And what intensity represents is inspirational energy. This is quick, fast fire energy coming in for you to bring inspiration, passion, motivation. And this isn't romantic type, you know, love or this or energy. This is this is passion and motivation for your life. This is that energy that's that's that lights you up that makes you get up every single day and say you know what i have an amazing life i have everything that i want or i'm working towards this goal and it's coming in right i mean everything's lining up so because you still have attachments to the past and you're fearful of letting go and you're perhaps doubtful and resentful all that is blocking this new energy from coming in because you even have it in your in your um, bottom of the deck card. This is the source card. This is um, this is the Ace of Fire, and the source is the source of inspiration, the source of all creative energy. The source is the solar plexus energy. That's where we house our intuition, our creative powers, our passions, our motivations. That's where that's housed, and this is reversed, right? Yeah, and the reason why it's reversed is because there's still attachments to things that were once familiar you know you have the zen master coming in he's coming in reversed but when he comes in his, his lesson is to say you know what let go of pre-programmed thought let go of of the mind the mind is what's keeping you stuck it's the loop thinking it's the attachments it's it's the stories that you tell yourself that are keeping you stuck in this energy the Zen master comes in to say, you know what, the only way to ascend and the way to gain peace and enlightenment and to, and to come into alignment with yourself is to lead from the heart, to lead from the soul and to really get down into your solar plexus to trust your intuition. Mm -hmm. so right now it's blocked. Right now you're blocking it. Right now you're shutting it down. Right now it's, yeah, you're, you're disregarding that. And the Zen master is saying, no, get out of here. The mind does not control you. What controls you is your heart. What controls you is your intuition. Follow your intuition and it will not steer you wrong. But all this is reversed because this is a lesson that needs to be learned right now and to be understood. Because again, the Knight of Fire and the Source, the Ace of Fire, are both reversed. This can't come in or it's coming in slowly or you're just flat out, flat out blocking it depending on how how strongly you're clinging to the past. So up next is the Eight of Fire. Eight of Wands in the regular Rider Weight Tarot deck. Both talk about traveling. Eight of Wands upright in Rider Weight is all about traveling. It's all about fast moving energy. It's all about fast communication and passionate communication. That's the Rider Weight deck. However, here in Osho Zen, this traveling card is all about your spiritual up leveling. It's going to the next destination. So you're down here, right? At sort of at the base camp. 
you know, of this mountain. And you're looking up and you're like, all right, well, I've already climbed those mountains. Now I'm getting ready to climb this one. And the summit is somewhere up in the clouds, but I just know I have to keep going up. And how you get there, you don't know. There's different roadways and switchbacks and, you know, there's probably different paths and shortcuts in here and there. But really, what this card is telling you is it's not about the destination. Because once you get to the summit of that point and you get to where you want to go, you're like, all right, cool. Well, conquered that. Now what? What's next? Where's the next mountain? Where am I going next? Right? Then it's like, all right, well, you're there. The point of this card is for you to learn the lessons of life, learn the lessons that you need to know for this new cycle that you're starting through your journey. It's all about the journey, not the destination. And the journey is where you're going to up level and grow and you're going to meet some really interesting people to help you along your ascension path, to help you learn the lessons, to help you ascend. It may offer you a helping hand when you fall and stumble. It's just, it'll happen, you know, but you just have to get back up and, and, and keep going and move and move on, right? And perhaps along the journey, you may meet some other karmics, you know, and learn lessons from them and maybe love them, but... Perhaps their time will expire and you're just going to have to send them off with love and light. And I think the big lesson that we're dealing with right now is learning how to do that. Learning how to release people with grace and with love and light and sending them, sending them off with blessings. You know, some of these cycles or some of these karmic relationships we ended may have been a permanent ending depending on what happened and depending on the conditions. But some of the other um, karmic situations, this could be romantic or friendships. It could just be a pause. Maybe you all just need to take a few months apart to figure things out, to sort yourselves out, and to up-level yourself energetically in order to come back and reestablish that friendship or reestablish that relationship when conditions are better to support it. So that's another way of looking at what's happening with these cycles that we're that we're going through. Um, yeah, because not all relationships have to end permanently. They just have to have space to grow and up-level. And as long as people are meeting you energetically, because if you're up-leveling and they can do that with you, perhaps in their own time, but if they can meet you where you're at, you're going to have harmony. They're going to have harmony in that relationship, okay? So that's just something to think about going forward. Crowning is you have the 15 card. This is conditioning. Yeah, so... It's upside down reverse because you're out of alignment with your power. You're out of alignment with who you are and you're out of alignment with your true self, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to show this card upright. So what's happening here is you have this magnificent lion sitting amongst a gaggle of sheep. And he knows he's different because the sheep have told him, hey, you don't look like us. But let us help you. <laughs> let us help you look more like us. Let us help you fit in, you big old ferocious lion. Let's make you less scary. Let's make you more docile. We're going to tie some wool across your back. And that'll help you blend in a little bit better. Okay, so that's what happens when we listen to societal pre-programmed thought. This is what happens when we listen to external sources and let those sources mold us, shape us, influence our identity, influence our truth, influence how we show up in our lives. But the message here... This is reversed. The message here for you all, Capricorns, is for you to understand you are not that sheep. You are a magnificent lion, and now is a time for you to shed all the falsity that you've been told all your life and to get into alignment with your truth so you can emerge as the magnificent lion that you are, the magnificent leader that you are meant to be, and to, and to take control of your new life. Yeah, this is all about you redefining yourself and writing your own narrative. Who do you want to be in this next cycle, Capricorn? That's the big question. And you have the power to create that. You've got the source card. This is all about creative creativity, creative energy. This is what sparks movement in lies. Big movements. You know, anything from motivating you to get up in the morning to go to work to taking inspired action to change your life. Okay, so you've got that here for you. You just have to harness that energy, tap into it because it's there, right? So this is all about mastering your thoughts. Master your thoughts, write your own narrative, get truthful and honest with who you are, release this past.
quit crying over the three cups that are in front of you and look behind you. You've got two other cups full waiting for you to notice them. And you don't know what those two other cups are going to bring, right? Because they're too busy crying about the past. So look to turn around, look towards the future, and see what those two cups have to offer you. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So I think that's the takeaway from what we've got here. I'm going to pull some clarifiers with the Untamed Truth Oracle deck. Oh, God. Everything's falling. Partnerships reversed. Yeah. Which isn't surprising because you're too busy being attached to, to something that ended, you know? You're going into the unknown. And I think it's freaking you out a little bit. But that's okay. Because once you go into the darkness, you emerge enlightened on the other side. You, you emerge in light and enlightened. This can feel a little bit chaotic. But just know that out of chaos breeds order. Okay, so a new order for you is being established. Okay. Love. Reverse. Yeah, I feel like what you're clinging to is a broken heart. Past relationship. A partnership. Your heart chakra is closed. You have connections. This is about working on your connections, not only with other people, but with yourself. Learning to love yourself first before you can love others. Learning to know who you are so that way you can show up authentically and not be wrapped up in that fake sheep's wool. It's connecting with yourself. We just need one more. Oh gosh. Yes, fire energy. A lot of fire energy for you. Came in upright, which is a good thing. Because all this energy, again, you have, gosh, you have four cards that are fire. You have the source, which is the ace, reversed. Eight of, eight of um, fire. You have the nine of fire, reversed. And then this card came in for you upright. Yeah. So this is definitely an indicator or a sign saying, hey, get excited. Get inspired about your life. Find what you're passionate about. Find what motivates you. Find what's going to bring that spark back into your life and make it grow. Make that, that small spark turn into a roaring fire for your life. Passion for your life. What is that? What is that spark of inspiration? That's what you're searching for. Yeah, but you don't know. Because you have to go into your dark period right now. I think you're in between cycles. You, you definitely ended something, but I don't think your new cycle has started yet. You know, the energy is shutting down for the new energy to start and there's there's a lull. And I feel like that's where you're right. That's where you are right now, Capricorns. I really do feel like you're in a gap period, getting ready to go into this unknown so that way you can come out into your new life, ready to embrace the new life, ready to release the love and open your heart chakra because I feel like this is a closed heart chakra. Okay, so bottom of the deck is be brave, be brave and stay wild. It's reversed, but I think it's a good message for you. We'll turn it up right so you can see it. Yeah, be brave and stay wild. This fire energy is all about having courage, bravery. It's all about leadership, taking control of your life. Yeah, getting excited about your life. Absolutely. Okay, so next... What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull from the Rebel Goddess Oracle deck. We're going to see what comes in for you all right now. And this is a cool deck. It has a really beautiful imagery on it. And it has beautiful messages of inspiration and guidance. And hopefully... Oh, some pops. And there's, one that, there's another one that came out. Yeah. One more. But yeah, beautiful messages of inspiration, beautiful, inspiring imagery. So I hope you enjoy these cards. Yeah. Okay. So this one's sort of a question. What do you feel? You have a woman who's weighing a decision between apples and oranges. 
How do you feel about that? And she's looking up at the moon for inspiration and guidance. We have a full moon coming up in, um, in May. That's the uh, Scorpio full moon on the 18th of May. And that's going to bring you a lot of introspective, introspective energy to really look at what's going on in your life now that you've, you've ended cycles and timelines have collapsed. Now it's time for you to assess where are you right now? What do you feel? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So that's something for you to keep in mind as you move forward through the great unknown. I think that's actually what you should be asking yourself as you're going through this dark energy, this unknown period. What do you feel? And this is a great way to check in with your, with your, with your intuition. It's a good gut check. By you asking yourself, what do you feel is moving you out of here and into your heart space, which is exactly what the Zen master is instructing you to do. Get out of here, get into your heart space, follow your intuition, follow your gut. What do you feel? Very important question for you all right now to be asking that. And this is after the storm. Yeah, I think this is where many of you all are at right now. You just weathered the storm and now it's, it's taking stock of, okay, what's left? Where am I? What am I going to do? What's next for me? Again, go back to that question. What do I feel? Okay. Up next is relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. Yeah. So you're going to emerge through this dark period <laughs> again got this this card that these other cards are playing off of right so I don't know if you can see the woman clearly but she yeah there's her face she's looking up in awe fully inspired and enraptured in the light that's surrounding her she's totally naked vulnerable but unafraid she's unafraid of the light that's gonna be shining down upon her and this is the light of the divine this is the light of your guardian angels and your spirit guides to let you know that you are fully supported right now. That what happened in the past, what happened with, with ending the timelines needed to happen in order for you to ascend, to grow, to step into your true power, to define what your new narrative is and to move into your new truth and your new cycle, right? This is all about setting you up to to co-create your manifestations. What is it that you want in your new life, this new cycle? That's the question that we're all trying to answer for ourselves. 